Obviously, the best way to deal with sun damage is to not get it in the first place. And we know that, right? We know sunscreen, sun protection, but even the most ardent sun protection wearers, of which I'm one, you're going to get some accumulated UVA, UVB damage to your skin as you move through your 40s onward. Or is it upward? Anyway, the good news is that we have available to us today many options to help fade photo aging of the skin. And that's a good thing. Well, everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris, and on my channel, we try to help you find skincare that will work for you, not empty your wallet, and not do you more harm than good. So if that sounds like content that you're interested in, please be sure and subscribe, hit that little notification bell so that you know when my new videos are out every week. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about how to fade sun damage or photo aging on the skin, and it occurs in a lot of places, face, chest, for a lot of people, the backs of our arms, our hands, the back of our neck, and for you ladies and gents that, especially here in Florida, that wear sandals all the time and forget to put sunscreen on the tops of your feet, you can get it on your feet as well. Now, if you have other skin aging issues like really thin skin or wrinkles, crepey skin, that type of thing, I do have these videos on the channel right here above my head. So be sure and check those out. When you get done with this one, I will link to them down below in the video description box. All right, we know that 80% of the visible aging process on our skin comes from UVA, UVB damage. Again, that's the face, the hands, your chest, back of your neck, your feet in some cases, yeah. It happens mostly because of sun exposure. And again, even if you wear sunscreen, it doesn't always get out all of the light. Most all of us, myself included, are not always as consistent as we should be about applying it. And for a lot of us my age, if you're in your 50s, we weren't even thinking about that stuff back when we were 20 years old, although I kind of did. But most people were at the beach, slathering themselves in oil and iodine or going to the tanning booth. We didn't really know that this much damage to the DNA, yes, the DNA of our skin cells would occur. So what happens over time, that DNA damage at that level in your skin cells accumulates and then that's when you start to see the accumulative effect on the outside of your skin, which is that dryness, kind of crepiness, there's a lot of brown spots, discoloration, a very uneven tone to the skin, and yes, in some cases, skin cancer. Now the bad news is, and I always hate to deliver bad news, but the truth of the matter is, we can't undo a lot of that damage at the DNA level, at least not yet. You never know where this is gonna go in the skincare world. But right now, we can't. But what we can do, what the good news is, is that we can help fade that look. We can really affect the outer layers, the very outer layers of our skin with some treatments and some processes that can make a huge difference in how our skin actually looks. And the other little bit of good news is we also can affect the health of the new skin cells that we're producing. So how, how do we address this? How do we fade out that look, that photo aging problem that we have? How do we return our skin to a more youthful, even look? Well, for hyperpigmentation, brown patches and those brown age spots, which we call solar lentigenes. Yeah, we always have these really interesting names in skincare for these problems. We have to address those clumps of melanin that have occurred or formed over time to help our skin protect itself from the sun. So think of it this way, your DNA is a photocopy maker of yourself. All of our DNA holds the uh, prescription, subscription, description of what our cells are supposed to do. And when it's damaged, that photo image it makes of our cells is altered. And that's what happens in sun damage on your skin. That's why those spots show up and they stick around because the DNA is trying to protect your skin. No matter if you stopped getting in the sun a long time ago and you're using all kinds of sunscreen, that cumulative damage will show up as we age. Because again, we are basically a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy. That's how cancer happens and gets out of control. And we could spend a whole video on that. But just suffice to say, we can't fix that necessarily, but we can fix the outer result. The first and perhaps the least expensive invasive way to address and fade photo aging in the skin is to use skin lightening 
products. So there are some skincare acids that can be very effective like kojic acid and glycolic acid. Also two skincare acids that you've probably heard of at least somewhere in your life before. And the reason for that is these Two acids help speed up cellular turnover. They help loosen the bond between the old skin cells on the surface of your skin, which are dead, and the new live skin cells just beneath. So as they slough off and speed up that process of dead skin cells coming off your skin, then your lighter, brighter, healthier skin moves forward. Now there's also another skincare acid that is very effective for this, which is hydroquinone. And there's some controversy around that. It's not going to be available over the counter much longer, but it will be in some prescription products. And I'm sure the skincare industry will find a replacement for it, but it's another acid that helps brighten the skin as it does this process of sloughing off those skin cells. And what I mean by that is it helps disperse those melanin pockets or brown spots, giving your skin a very even look. The interesting thing about kojic acid and hydroquinone is that they work very quickly and in fact fade some of the darkness and patchiness, especially in people with melasma, almost instantaneously you begin to see a difference and over time a very big difference. So that's very easy to do, right? It's a topical. The other good news is those ingredients are very inexpensive. There are brands that I recommend like The Ordinary where you can buy them sort of a la carte, not mixed with other ingredients in creams and apply them and they're very inexpensive. So seven to ten dollars for these. Also a combination of two acids has shown to be a very effective peeling mechanism to give you some really great results. It's one that I use as well and that's a mixture of glycolic acid which is an AHA or half hydroxy acid, alpha hydroxy acid. And what that does again is loosen that outer bond. And then salicylic acid, which is a beta hydroxy acid, is able to go deeper down into the actual pore and dissolve some of the dead skin cells that build up there, can actually make your pores look smaller and clearer. So the two together are a very effective skin brightening and peeling mechanism. The one that I personally use and recommend the most often is the Ordinary's Peel Solution. It is a 30% AHA to 2% BHA or salicylic acid combination. Now I will link to this and several options for you on these types of products below in the video description box and you can check them out when we're done with today's video. So skincare acids, very inexpensive, very effective for most people on removing that initial layer of dead skin and making the skin look even brighter and brown spots and dark patches much lighter. Now, another effective way to fade photo aging that's often recommended by dermatologists and estheticians is the use of a retinoid. That's a family of vitamin A derivatives. You probably heard of Retin-A, which is the prescription version. It's pretty strong and can do a lot to undo sun damage, years of sun damage, and also the over-counter versions or moisturizers called retinols. Now these vary in strengths from a half a percent to a percent and a half. The stronger over-the-counter versions are brands like Olay Skin Care's Retinol 24 Max, it's one that I've tested and talked about on the channel. Also Alpha Skin Care's 0.15%, which is a pretty high for over-the-counter retinols. This is a cream. Again, these are used on the face, not the eyelids, to help remove that outer skin layer, speed up cellular turnover, just like these skincare acids can, but they go deeper and they actually help your skin produce healthier cells. And then really interesting thing is the prescription versions like Retin-A, they can actually help remove precancerous cells. So retinol is gonna be your best friend in the topical department for fading sun damage. As those of you who watch the channel know, retinol has done wonders for my skin. Personally, I use the stronger over-the-counter versions on my face every night. Then I also use milder over-the-counter versions for my neck, the tops of my arms, and the backs of my hands. And those are brands that have encapsulated retinol, which means it's milder, it's time released, and better for these sensitive areas of the body and for sensitive skin types. Now, the one that I most often recommend people start with is CeraVe's Resurfacing Retinol Serum. Again, very mild, perfect for the backs of your hands, your arms, and usually for the neck area. Now, some things I wanna talk about really quickly here if you're going to start using retinol. Retinols can take time for your skin to acclimate to them. Because they're a derivative of vitamin A, they can be irritating and they do make some substantial changes in the process of your skin renewing itself. So things like redness, dryness, flakiness, 
most often with the prescription strengths do happen for a lot of people. It lasts anywhere from a couple of weeks to over a month. But if you can stick with it, it can make a huge difference in the look of your skin. Now, I discovered how well that these encapsulated retinols work on sun damage outside of the face because I, like most everybody who's over 40, some of you over 30, have that weird thing where one half of our body has more sun damage than the other. Usually in America, it's the left side. You know why? Because we all drive, or most of us do, and this side is always on the window side of the car. So even if you have tinted windows, and I grew up in the South, tinted windows my whole life, there was some aging going on on the tops of my arms and I could see more photo aging, as little as I have, still some on this side. So I decided to start trying the encapsulated mild retinol on my arms, the tops of my arms and my hands and unbelievable difference. Took a couple of months, but all of those little spots, freckles, what have you that were starting to show up have now faded and my arms look pretty good if you ask me. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you have it, retinol. If you can tolerate it, very, very good product. Now, if you're gonna to try to use the prescription strengths of these, please be sure you don't get them off market or black market, that you go to a dermatologist and let them look at your skin, decide what the best strength is for you and can monitor your progress and make changes as needed. Always check with your dermatologist when you're using any kind of prescription medication. Now, if you have substantial sun damage at this point in your life, or you're really not happy with where you're getting with using topicals, there are some alternative in office treatments that can be as low as a few hundred dollars all the way up to a couple of grand. I'm gonna give them to you quickly here. So all of these point made, you need to see a dermatologist or a licensed esthetician before doing any of these. The first of these are chemical peels, and I'm not talking about like the peel solution. That's a peel, but it's not what I'm talking about here. Mid-level, mid-depth chemical peels go deeper into the surface of the skin and remove all of the dead skin cells. These can be accomplished by the use of stronger skin acids like TCA peels. These go, again, these go really deep and it's like starting your skin all over again. Now these are usually not that costly, two to $300 a treatment, again, by a licensed professional. There are some risks involved, of course, whenever you're doing something like this. Because of the depth of the peel, it can leave a difference in the coloration of the peeled area against your regular skin. So you can have a line of demarcation, lighter or darker, of where you've had your skin peeled. So usually they will do a patch test first to make sure that that doesn't happen. Also, there's downtime and some pain with these. I have had TCA peels myself in the past. They're very effective, but they hurt, they sting. And then your skin is very raw and kind of scabby afterwards. And the downtime, two to three weeks, you've got to make sure that you get the sunscreen on. There's a lot to these. So they will work for you. They can make major changes in the look of your skin. Just know that they have some risk involved, including a small risk of infection. But again, that's why you want to see a professional when you have these done. Now, the other in-office treatments are several different kinds of laser therapies that have been shown very effective in removing skin damage by the sun. And that would be the Fraxel Dual Laser, which can help with overall skin brightening, especially with melasma and the darker surface spots, age spots. There's also the ND YAG, so ND YAG laser therapy, which is very effective at treating dark spots, those scaly brown age spots that are really difficult to treat with topicals, and also treating another problem that's very common when you have aging, and that is T. langectasias or spider veins. So these treatments can be very expensive, upwards to $1,000 to $2,000, depending on what you're having done and how many times you have to have the treatment done, but they are extremely effective. They work very, very well, and if you can afford them, they can really make a big difference in your skin. Now, these are certainly not all of the options available today. The technology continues used to evolve quite well. Actually, there is the red light therapy mask, one of which I just tested and did a review on in this video, which again, I will link to below in the video description box that are showing some really good results, especially on removing age spots and hyperpigmentation issues. So these are not all the ways available to you. And again, if you're not happy with the progress of topicals, which are where you should start, start with those first then if not, seek professional advice. Now, I hope this video was helpful today in kind of giving you some options on what you can do to fade photo aging. If it was helpful, please be sure and give it a like and comment below and let me know what things you've tried for photo aging or fading sun damage that worked for you. I'd really like to know that. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting the channel. You're amazing. 
Love you guys, stay beautiful, and I'll see you over on the next video. Yeah.